I like this project because it has a very nice uh, integration between modeling and data collection, where modeling is included in the very early stage. You know, my brother is a sculptor, and we always discuss this question about modeling, because when he does modeling, it means reproducing reality and making a sculpture of it. And in a way, it's the same in mathematics. So a sculpture is going to communicate to you the perception of reality by a, an artist, while a mathematical model is uh, the perception by a scientist. Or you can do in the laboratory, you take gelatin, gelatin is not rock, the fluids you are going to inject are not magma, but you think that they are going to help you understand him better. Because the processes in the Earth are very complex, so for example, magma is complex, you have uh, bubbles forming in the magma, you have a lot of heat that wants to come out of the magma and go in into rock. You have rock fracturing and creating earthquakes, you have deformation. And if you just look at it like this, you don't understand anything. And so you want to actually take out several of these processes and look at one simple thing at a time, understand that, and then only at the end combine them. And you want to know, is it really going to erupt and where and when and how much? These are the questions. And they are very basic questions, but really, I tell you, they have no answer so far.